Greetings, friends. Finally, the rain has stopped. After about five days straight of rain, it finally stopped yesterday. And uh, so glad because it was a lot of rain. Let me show you something. This gorilla cart right on the back of my lawn tractor is completely full with water. All the way down, almost to my forearm. That's pretty crazy. Just shows you how much rain we've gotten. It's just been there, and it's just been the rain. It's just been filling up, no runoff from a roof or anything like that. But this morning, Sayla and Micah are joining me. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we're gonna head over to the property that we're trying to purchase some of it up. I heard back from the seller and uh, he is open to the offer that I had and wanted me to go ahead and uh, send him a layout of what I have in mind. So we're gonna gather some cones up and we're gonna head over there with the drone and uh, take a shot of uh, the area that we're trying to get. Hey Sayla, there's some cones over there. Can you grab actually the, I think there's a stack of cones right behind that chicken tractor there. Okay. All right, so it actually has a paved path on it. So I'm actually thinking it'd be a neat idea if we could get that paved path, part of it, as part of what we would have. So that way, if it was really wet and muddy, we'd have a nice path to, to uh, move things on, uh, whether it be feed, water for our animals. This would help transporting and making life a little bit easier. So our property is here. So I think the pathway is about, I don't know, 100 feet or more from uh, the edge of our property to where the path is right up here. Let's just measure it out. So that's just a rough measurement. I don't have a tool on me right now to uh, do an official measurement, but uh, I think it's about 120 feet or so from the edge over there to over here where I'm thinking right here on the other side of this paved path. Taylor, could you run and go get a cone for me? Or Michael, you're gonna get one for me? There you go. So, say it's about 130 and we're gonna go 400 that way. 400 feet that way. So what I'm thinking is, having this, this path here, as well as having the main area, we could run our chickens through here, our layers, and uh, could set it up to where we have a system of rotating them in the, in the grass area here. That would be pretty neat. So once he gets that cone, we'll mark off this side, and uh, then we're gonna mark off the other side. Look at that strong man, hard worker, bringing the cone, man. Good job, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so next we're gonna walk down this way. So this is one side I'm thinking of from all the way, I'm not sure if you can see that cone way up there, but it's somewhere in there. And then now we're gonna walk this way for the other side. So we're at 130 feet right now from the other cone. I just wanna stop and look at this tree beautiful tree. Tree that's had the opportunity to grow and, and branch out without a lot of trees around it. Just beautiful. Keep going. 131, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So right about here, Sayla. Bring a cone. Just set it right here. Alrighty. So Trying to do something close to the square, but I don't think it's gonna be exactly the square. I think, I guess once we get in the air, really start seeing. Cause uh, definitely looks further to that edge of the property than it was at the top. So uh, we'll just go ahead and walk a cone over there. Mike, can you give me that other cone? Good job, look at that man, he is on it today. Right here, this cone, you passed it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this cone right on the other edge and I'm gonna get that drone up in there and see what this looks like from above. I have a DJI Phantom and it's a Phantom 3. Not super fancy, just a basic one. But uh, that's a great job. Here we go. So I can see one cone there, another cone, where is it at, where is it at, oh there it is, we just got to adjust a little bit, come back, alright, let's lift it up, I think that's the shot we want, see a little more clay there than I, than looks like it from the ground, but that's how it is where we live here, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get a snapshot of that right here of the area. See here, find our cone. Our cone. There they are. Make sure they're in. And then, bang, we got our picture. Let's go ahead and get one more. And you can see uh, the shop that's on our property. There we go. Alright, we'll bring the drone down. It really is a beautiful property. There's more land than here than is in our budget to even to attempt to, to buy. But uh, trying to do what we can to get what we can. And then maybe we can add on to it in the future. Man, I can just envision our chickens here, working with them and moving them around. And so desiring to have some pasture that's easy to move our, our animals and uh, make their life better as well. The deal's not finished yet. So uh, hopefully uh, we can keep things moving forward and please continue to pray for us with this. And I wanna thank you guys for your prayers, but also thank you, those of you very, very much who donated and, and uh, to our cause here and are helping to make this possible because we are doing what we can to the budget and uh, try to make this happen. All right, so we got to get our cones picked up and then we are going to be transitioning the chicks that we got from Murray McMurray into Chicken Tractor. It'll be their first time outside. We're only going to do probably about half, but we're going to do that next. But uh, first, we got to get our cones. Hey, Micah, come help me with the cones. Thanks for bringing that cone. You want to race and get to the other one? Uh -huh. Ready, set, go! So here they are, and man have they grown. This is my very, very first time raising the Cornish crosses and I'm just blown away by how fast they grow. Very different from a lot of the other breeds that we have raised in the past. So currently we only have one chicken tractor ready for them to go into. I need to build another one this week, to, so we're gonna split them in half. There's 48 here. I'm gonna try to go 24 and 24 in each tractor. So, uh, but the problem is, we have some ducks and chickens that are currently in the uh, chicken tractor that these are gonna be moving into. And the reason they got put there is, well, let's just go see them. Well, the reason is, these guys right here were skate artists. Well, they probably still are. We had some issues with our fencing, and uh, they kept finding ways to get out of it. 
same ones each time. So uh, I think we have that resolved. So we're gonna take these out of here and uh, prep it for the rollers. Let your size join us. Good morning, man. Good morning. You ready to work? Yeah. That shirt makes it look like you're ready to work. You're raw. Beast coming out of you. Beast mode. All right, so Sailor grab that chicken. They're gonna go to your back to your flock over there. What you have down. Mike, do you want to carry one? I carry a duck. You want to carry a duck? Mm -hmm. Ducky, ducky, ducky. Right. Here, carry that chicken for me, Micah. I don't want a duck. Here, Taylor, you can carry another hand. You're not afraid, are you? I like it. We're going to have to work out of that. Come on out. Come on. There we go. Come on. Alright. Boy. Alright, here you go. You got it? Hold on to it. Alright, so I got two. We got one more in there. I'm coming to help you out, Mike. Are you losing it? Hold on. Hold it, keep holding. I got it. Got three of them. All right. One and two. Whoa. This one's going down somewhere else, right? This one's yours, Sailor. All righty. Right now, things are still pretty messy around here from all the rain, and mud, and just yuckiness. So, uh, we might give them a little bit more mulch here. There's mulch down there, believe it or not. But uh, we have some from right here that we'll add to it. Hopefully this week or next, we're going to separate the ducks and chickens, the flock here, and uh, bring the ducks back down to the pond and uh, keep the chickens up here, and hopefully on that property pretty soon. But uh, like I said, we'll keep praying and see what happens. All righty, now it's time to move those broilers into the chicken tractor. We're going to move it onto some fresh grass and uh, start transitioning them out there. Hopefully uh, everything goes well. How can I forget about this one? This was the last one left. Ducks are pretty neat. We have a couple of Muscovy ducks. We mostly have Khaki Campbell. We also have some Indian Runner and some Welsh Harlequin ducks. And Gold Star. All of them from Murray McMurray Hatchery. And uh, if you want to add some to your homestead, you can check out the link in the show notes below because uh, we have really been impressed with the birds that we've gotten from them. Let's put this Muscovy in there with the other ducks. And uh, it's broiler time. He is happy to see her. Oh yeah, they've been reunited. The Muscovy. <laughs> Funny how they talk to each other. What do you think they're saying? <laughs> so we have our chicken tractor set up now for our brooders and what I'm thinking is of just taking it down this area letting the chicks go ahead and just go to town with eating the grass here and just going all the way down now we'll also at the same time prep this bed here because I want to do another bed right in here we have cucumbers growing alongside the fence okra lettuce which will come out fairly soon and squash but right in here i want to get another row of something else growing so they'll go ahead and prep this area for us and on as they progress all the way down we actually have a grass area through the woods big strip where we can bring the broilers on for uh as they mature and get ready to become chicken dinners for us winter winter chicken dinners all right now let's go ahead and uh start bringing out the chicks all right, so I'm just going to start taking them out one at a time, hand them to you guys, and if you could put them right in here, and then we'll start shipping them on over to the chicken tractor. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, cool. 
Oh, oh, maybe that's not the best idea after all. Let's just go ahead and grab them. All right, just grab two at a time. I'll carry them on over. There's two for you to decide. Two for Sailor. You're gonna eat them? It's pretty crazy how much they have grown. These things just grow pretty fast. They're pretty warm too. These two are pretty feisty right here and mouthy. I can't open up the door. No, my hand goes. There you go. Put those in. Next. They look like they have dinosaur feet. Their feet are so big. <laughs> they do. They're little dinos like Justin Rhodes likes to call them. All right, we're halfway there. Twelve more, guys. Hey, I got pecked. It just, it just pecked me. I don't like getting pecked. It's like you brute leave me alone, Peck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, that's all 24 of them. There you go, you got those little dinos in there. You even got dino on your shirt. <laughs> T-Rex! What's your favorite dinosaur? Um, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's mine my, too! Mine, mine is a, a, um, a Stegosaurus. You like Stegosauruses? They're pretty cool too with all the plates on their back. Yours? I have a few. I like the Triceratops and the Stegimala. Ooh. And I like Hadrosaurus. Wow. What about you guys? Oh, you got another one. With the wrecking ball. With the wrecking ball? Isn't that Ankylosaurus or something yeah. like that? Yeah. There we go. I like it. You can tell we like dinosaurs a little bit here in this family. What about you? What is your favorite dinosaur? I like to think that uh, Justin Rose says that the chicks are basically little dinos. Maybe, I feel like maybe God used a similar blueprint for them, but uh, they do look pretty neat. No, you didn't put the latch on. See, you have to push this pin in or it's not latched because the an animal could just come and pop that right off. You have to push the latch, put it in, open it up, and that seals it. Seals. And you can't pop it up. Good job. These birds have an appetite like you. They like to eat, don't they? <laughs> You like to eat meat and tacos? And beans. And beans too? And mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. There's some good ones. <laughs> These birds do and have quite the appetite. And barbecue sauce. And barbecue sauce too? I love barbecue sauce too. He likes a lot of the same things I like. Especially the beans. I'm not a huge bean guy. But these birds really do have quite the appetite. I guess when you're growing this fast, you gotta keep it in you, so it's like I'm constantly feeding these things. With this flock here, I haven't quite gone through two bags of pine shavings, so I think two will be enough if you're raising like 50 in a brood, or at least it looks like it'll be for me, and I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Two bags will be it, and then transition them outside. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and get some feed and water out to the ones that are outside in the chicken tractor. Hopefully they've been enjoying some fresh grass.
Here goes the water. Can we reach it? Yeah, we can reach it. All right, we need to get another feeder. Thought I had more than I have, so we'll be getting some more feeders here, but we're gonna have to use this in the meantime. They're hungry. Alrighty, the next thing we need to do is we need to pull out some old lettuce and we'll be giving that to our flocks of chickens and ducks so they can have some fresh veggies. We try to make sure that we can provide that as regularly as possible. And we'll give them lettuce and we'll give them grass clipping sometimes. I do have to mow the grass too. As well as uh, I need to put some, some mulch in there, so. Greetings. Hello. It's an honor for you to join us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and perfect timing too, because what we need to do right now is right here in the caterpillar tunnel, we have different lettuces growing and some are bolting, have bolted. Uh, I want to keep the oak leaf. We're going to try to save some seeds from that, but we don't want this red leaf here. That one we weren't able to get many cuttings from, so I definitely don't want to try to grow that one again. There's some other ones that I do, but not that one. Also, while I'm here, check out the peppers. They're growing pretty well, as well as some basil that we just transplanted not too long ago. Well, one reason you didn't get a bunch of cuts off of the red lettuce is because it's actually a red romaine lettuce, and it's a head lettuce, so it's more designed to grow a head and cut the whole head and only get one harvest. Yeah, I agree with that for the most part. Uh, however, I didn't like the flavor for this one to begin with. I felt like it just didn't have the flavor that I was looking for with my salad mixes. And some, some head lettuces you can, as long as you keep cutting them, you can treat them like a leaf lettuce and they, it will work for salad mix. But either way, they're going out here. Get them out of here, Salem. Yep. <laughs> Get them out of here, Josiah. At least I called you by the right name. Sometimes I use the wrong name. Load them up, Sal. You can mommy take them out so I can load them up. Well, we even have volunteer tomato coming in there. Let me get that out of there. We grew tomatoes here last year, but not wanting to grow them right now. Especially right here with this lettuce. Quack, quack. Despite having limited pasture area, we really try to do what we can to make sure that they have greens in their diet. It is important for them. Have you seen our chicken dinners right here? <laughs> All, 24 of our broilers are in here I outside eating fresh grass here. for the first time. Check them out. Looky there. That is pretty cool. This one still face first in the feed, but. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had another feeder, but uh, I have to go get another one. But pretty exciting that we're raising our first broilers and uh, just one more step closer to food security for our family and uh, food independence, right? That's right. And it's been so encouraging to, to receive comments from you all about how we've in inspired you guys in various ways, and we really appreciate that. 
Like every, every video we get such great comments about, I'm growing this because you inspired me to do it. You told me to just grow, just do it. And it is super humbling for one thing. And um, it just shows me how much sharing your life with other people can encourage them. And know that, you know, they're not alone, you're not alone, but we can all share and learn from one another and encourage one another. It also inspires us to hear that we're inspiring you. I know this sounds weird, but when you guys share with us how we have helped you, and when you're even more specific, that helps us even more when we feel like things aren't perfect here and, and we're, we're just kind of maybe down or we had to deal with all this rain and, and the funness that was associated with being out and homesteading with all the mud and yucky rain wetness all over the place it, and then hearing how you guys have been inspired by what we do it really helps us a lot so thank you very very much Josiah likes all the babies <laughs> while we have the animals here try to give them as best life as we can we're able to give them Speaking of having a good life, even, as I mentioned earlier, even though we don't have a lot of pasture area, still want to give them these greens. Uh, besides, as we pull them out from the garden, we got to use them in some way. So what better way to than give it to our animals? We can also put it in a compost this time too. But you can see they really love it, especially the ducks. Look at them just going to town. Salad bar buffet. Eat your salad, ladies. Yummy, yummy. So have we inspired you guys? Like we wanna know, have we inspired you to start a garden, to get more healthy, to learn about healthcare? You know, whatever it is, we'd love to hear how we have inspired you and leave that for us down in the comments. Also, in speaking of inspiration, we are planning to be at the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri. Doug and Stacy are still planning to have the event, so hoping that it's still going to happen. And that's just a great place to go to be inspired even more. So uh, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, check out the show notes below. See you next time. You should say, let us know what you want to grow. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> This wee one is strong with the dad jokes already. <laughs> there you go, give me some nothing.